Hello again, Thompson Tigers, and here's what you missed in class on the 23rd and 24th, Wednesday and Thursday of September. So last class, we chose artworks and spent some time getting to know them. Today, I gave you a little bit more backstory on the artwork. So if you go to classwork, head to the topics bar on the left, go to artist respond, and here we are again at the art Padlet Zoom activity. Going to revisit the Padlet. And I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory to each artwork. So first up, we have Yayoi Kusama. A Yayoi Kusama was a Japanese American artist. Um, she was born in Japan and she had a very, very difficult childhood growing up. Uh, she suffered a lot of of really bad things um, as a child. And as a result, um, she would often see hallucinations um, because she was dealing with the trauma. So hallucinations are when you see something that isn't really there. So Yoyoi Kusama's hallucinations included polka dots over surfaces of everything that she could see. So she took those polka dots and used them in her artwork. In 1977, she checked into a mental hospital and has been making art from that hospital ever since. And she is a very famous and influential artist. All right, Frida Kahlo. Uh, Frida was born in Mexico and um, she became a very famous painter and also married another famous painter. And they traveled the world together, spent a lot of time in Europe and some time in America. And uh, here you have a portrait of two Fridas. So this is a self portrait. She painted this portrait of herself. Um, on the right, you have Frida in her uh, traditional Mexican uh, clothes. And on the left, she's got the more European dress uh, with the lace and the embroidery. And so you've got two separate versions of Frida. And I don't know if you guys have ever experienced um, having to be two different people at the same time, maybe one type of people with your friends, one type of person with your family. Um, but having that kind of split persona, um, you can appreciate maybe how Frida felt. So there's Frida. Brianna Taylor. All right, so I know a lot of you have probably heard about Brianna Taylor in the news. Um, a very, very terrible thing happened recently. Uh, some cops came into Brianna's house in the middle of the night with a no-knock warrant, which means they enter without announcing themselves. Um, and her boyfriend at the time thought it was a home invader, so he fired a shot. The police returned fire, and Brianna was killed. Um, afterwards, after the death of a few uh, of several other um, African Americans in cop situations, um, a lot of protests began, and um, Brianna Taylor became the face of several of these protests um, against police brutality. Uh, Amy Sherald painted her portrait, and Amy Sherald also painted the portrait of Michelle Obama. If I can type here, Michelle Obama, um, which some of you also may recognize. Let's find it here. Ah, here it is. So Amy Sherald is a well-known artist who paints portraits of African-American men and women. And so here, here's Michelle Obama. All right, so that's a little bit about the Breonna Taylor portrait. Uh, finally, we have Adrian Piper, um, who made lots of art around the civil rights movement. Um, Adrian Piper would often make art about justice or injustice that she would see in the world around her. Um, so thinking about people who have lots and people who have little, uh, take a look at this artwork, everything will be taken away. All right, so that is a little bit about your artwork. And so tune in for the next video for a recap on what to do next.